With over 1 billion websites in existence, web development is one of the most in-demand services that businesses and sole proprietors are looking to hire for. In today's business environment, your business isn't seen as official if it doesn't have some sort of web presence in the form of a website. So because of that, building websites are in high demand and people who can get good at building websites can make a healthy living working on their own schedule. In this video, I'm gonna share some tips for how to make money making websites. I'll share the best niches to make money building websites, the benefits of working in this field, and finally, I'm gonna share the best resources and training to build websites. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. Consider subscribing if you aren't already part of this Money Made Simple community here at The Modest Wallet. All right, let's first go over five basic steps or really tips for building a website. Step one, learn how to build websites. You should also have an understanding of how CMS, that's content management systems, and web page builders work as they are used to create, manage, and modify content on a website. A CMS on one hand is software that runs on a web server used to create and manage content on a website and it's typically stored in an SQL, which is a structured query language database. Some of the most popular CMS platforms today include what you currently are seeing on the screen. I'll quickly share a graph as well so you can see the popularity of each of those platforms and then compare them. Now I'm sure you've heard of WordPress because it is the most popular CMS platform and would probably be the one you'd wanna get the most familiar with. Website page builders, on the other hand, are software that allows you to build a drag and drop website from the builder's hosting platform. Page builders are generally easy to use and let you build beautiful websites visually from the front end without worrying too much about what happens behind the scenes or the back end. Some of the most popular website page builders today include Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, Xyro, and Weebly. At the end of the day though, it's best to stick to a platform that works for you and your clients. Consider your personal preference and also your experience. Also make sure to opt for a platform that makes migration easy so that you really have no problem in shifting from one platform to another should that need arise. And before I forget, I'll try to do my best to include any links to each of these in the description below. All right, step two, learn the basics of graphic design. Graphics and graphic design play a major role in website building, especially when working with new or less established businesses. It's definitely important to learn some of the basics of graphic design and then sort of get familiar with one or two graphic design applications that you can nail down and use going forward. The cool thing is that you don't need a graphic design background to learn how to make a great logo and other graphics for your clients. There are plenty of tools that are simple and easy to use. Canva is a perfect example of a great graphic design tool that is very straightforward and easy to master. Adobe Express is another great tool for designers where you can find templates, design assets, and even royalty-free photos for your designs. Adobe Photoshop is a slightly more complex but offers a more comprehensive range of graphic design tools. Not only having a great graphic design tool will help you with your design, but also in preparing proposals for clients, presentations, or even creating your own portfolio of past work. All right, step three, choose a niche. When you're first starting out, especially if your coding abilities are limited or really non-existent, you'll wanna choose a niche. Now you can narrow your scope in a variety of ways. For example, you may wish to only create websites for gym owners or maybe even something like barbershops. Or you might even limit your activities to building with Squarespace or Wix website page builders only. And you could even restrict yourself to only working with specific themes or page builder plugins inside WordPress. Now the reason behind this is to develop a specialty that you especially are good at and can work on it efficiently. Step four, build a portfolio to showcase your work. Getting yourself clients is sometimes one of the hardest parts of being successful in building websites. It is important when you do find a lead or someone inquires about your work, you have a portfolio to showcase your work. But one thing you do wanna remember is that as a website builder, you might wanna build a portfolio website of your own. But whichever route you do choose to go with, your portfolio should show clients what you're capable of and provide examples of maybe some previous work you've done. 
It can include testimonials from previous clients and any other features that will help you really build your credibility. Apart from your own site, consider building a sample site or two maybe for the niches you wish to target. So for example, if you wanna build websites for barbershops as we mentioned, create a couple mock barbershop sites for potential clients to maybe pursue. All right guys, step five, find work and clients. As a freelance website builder, you may encounter a good amount of competition in the space. Because of that, you may need to be actively searching for new work and clients, even more so at the beginning of your career. Of course, leveraging your own network while also really working to expand your network is one of the best ways to find your clients. Talk to your friends, your family, your acquaintances, uh, maybe even strangers about websites and web building. And just remember, there's really no need to be pushy or aggressive. Simply bringing up these subjects may very well lead to a conversation in which you can mention your services. And then another great way to find clients for your website building business is to use one of the numerous platforms that have been built specifically to connect freelancers with paying customers. These include platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, which are two of the most reputable work marketplaces currently in operation. The one thing that we found out that currently separates the two is that Fiverr has been geared more towards uh, one-time projects while Upwork has been designed to promote more longer-term work relationships. Don't count out LinkedIn. That's another great place to find clients. Virtually everyone on the platform is a professional of some sort. You can find clients on LinkedIn by doing a search for the niche you wish to target. We've already said it, so it's barbershops, and then send messages to individual users. You can also consider reaching out to local businesses Many local businesses desire an attractive web presence, but are too busy with that day-to-day -day running of their business to actively seek out a web designer. So reaching out to them can be just the push they need to get started building a website. But don't forget that local businesses might need a slightly different flavor of website that focuses on local SEO and driving that foot traffic. So we walked through those five steps now. Let's talk a bit about the best niches to make money building websites in. First are lead generation websites. Lead generation websites are websites that have been created specifically to create new leads for a business. They're actually designed to greet new visitors, present an offer or some sort of call to action, and then effectively turn those visitors into sales leads. Instead of making a full on website for your clients, you could offer to build a one page website to generate leads for their business. Then they have the option of working on getting organic traffic from Google to that page or running paid ads to it. Click funnels and lead pages are two of probably the most widely used marketing platforms currently available. Unbounce is another great alternative. These platforms are designed to help businesses automate their entire sales process or those sales funnels. The second niche would be local business websites. Finding an ideal client or target market that you would like to focus on is a great way to niche down and have some real success closing those deals. Specializing in website builds for smaller brick and mortar businesses, local restaurants, maybe law firms, dental offices, and other independent organizations is a perfect way to start. All these businesses, regardless of their capacity, will be in need of a website to really solidify their online and offline presence and attract exposure. All right, another great niche is specializing in building turnkey websites on a single site building platform, such as Wix or Squarespace. This way you can really focus your time on mastering a single platform and using that experience, you'll be able to build high quality websites in fewer hours, maximizing your work hours, and you'll be able to make more money. Now, if you're confused what I mean, I'm talking about delivering a fully functional website in a way that can be maintained independently from the original owner of the website. Wix is a cloud-based website building platform that is completely free. It's been designed to be extremely user-friendly and easy for people who aren't experts to grasp. Wix actually offers well over 500 professionally made website templates that serve to accelerate the web building process by allowing users to skip the intricate, tedious development steps that come with building a website from scratch. Squarespace is another great web building platform that is slightly less of a beginner friendly tool for newbies to get the hang of. What they do is they also offer great pre-built website templates and theirs are fully responsive, they're automatically made mobile friendly, whereas Wix templates are not. Squarespace does not offer a free plan the way that Wix does. Their basic plan costs users about $16 per month on an annual term. Fourth is building WordPress websites. 
Why not choose the most popular content management system, WordPress, as your niche? As we previously discussed, website builders are all-in-one style platforms designed specifically to help streamline the building process and make it easy for beginners to get started building websites. Content management systems like WordPress are platforms that really are going to allow users to publish, they're gonna allow you to modify, store, manage content within their database. And they do offer a number of functionalities when it comes to building websites that the all-in-one platforms simply do not. So WordPress is definitely really an awesome website building tool especially for building high-end, fully customized websites. Fifth and final is to build e-commerce websites. Another incredibly lucrative niche that website builders can target is the e-commerce space. In 2021, retail e-commerce sales were estimated at well over $4 trillion. The sheer number of e-commerce businesses popping up daily indicates a huge demand for people who can build good looking, well-functioning websites. If this route really sounds like something maybe you're interested in pursuing, there are a number of great web building platforms and tools dedicated to creating e-commerce websites. And two of the most popular used are Shopify and WooCommerce. Now, both of these apps have their respective strengths and weaknesses, but both can provide a really a great way to make money building e-commerce websites specifically. And you wanna go ahead and do some research and find out which will be the best for you to succeed in. Wow, we just covered a ton of ground for the best niches to make money building websites. Now let's shift our attention to the benefits of working in this field. Freelance website building may not be the easiest endeavor, but the benefits of making money building websites are very appealing. Whether you're building for a full-time career or jumping in as a side hustle to start up with, the web development space is incredibly lucrative and it's really constantly growing. The first benefit to working in this field are the low capital costs. For a website builder who already has a computer of some sort to work off of are virtually non-existent. The only other really applicable costs would be purchasing a subscription to a website building platform like the ones we talked about, Wix, maybe Squarespace. Then there's also the no advanced skills required. You don't need to have an advanced knowledge of coding and web development practices in order to be successful in this space. Now that's not to say that anyone can do it, but building websites has become more of an accessible skill than it has ever been before. Next is the significant income potential. The amount of income that can be made will depend on a number of aspects. And this includes how well you market yourself, what kind of projects you take on, how you charge your clients, and of course, how good your work is. Web designers who can establish a good reputation and back that reputation up with high quality work, great customer service, and really great testimonials from previous clients can justify charging those big bucks. Freelancers can easily charge anywhere from you know, $25 to upwards of $120 an hour. It's also very common for website builders to charge on a peer project basis instead of the way of an hourly payment plan. And then next there is the schedule flexibility. The schedule flexibility that comes with working as a website builder is really appealing. All your work can be done online and remotely, which opens up so many possibilities for things other than work. As long as you are still actively finding clients and delivering quality projects on time, you can really have control over your schedule and in turn your life. Finally, we have the high demand. Unlike many other industries, web design and development services are consistently in high demand. And that's partly due to the digital age that has made websites one of the hottest commodities around. What this means is that finding work, even as a beginner, will be a lot easier than finding work as a newcomer in other spaces. So you're gonna to wanna to market yourself, network, offer your services on multiple platforms because there are new clients everywhere. Finally, let's talk about the best resources and trainings to build websites. Regardless of your experience level, leveraging the wide variety of resources that the internet has to offer is incredibly important. There are so many places that designers can go to learn, practice and those important skills and seek solutions to problems that they encounter. So let's first talk about where to learn CSS and HTML skills. Some of the more popular courses that are offered online include Udemy with the Web Design for Beginners, a real world coding in HTML and CSS course. It's also a great resource for beginners to learn HTML and CSS essentials. Then there's Coursera, 
The Web Design for Everybody course is another great resource to get an introduction to HTML and CSS and includes hands-on case study projects. Then there's W3Schools. W3Schools is a school for web developers that has been designed to help people not only learn, but also test and train what they learn using a variety of tools. The platform is free and has many tutorials, including HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, and much, much more. There are also a number of high quality YouTube channels that are dedicated to providing free HTML and CSS knowledge. Where to learn basic graphic design skills? Graphic design is a huge part of web design. It's important to learn some basic graphic design skills that you can use to enhance your work and really impress your clients. Some of the popular online graphic design resources include Udemy's The Graphic Design Masterclass. This is a popular course to teach you how to use popular graphics design tools, make logos and other design elements. There's also Skillshare's The Beginner's Guide to Adobe Photoshop course, which is a full guide to Adobe Photoshop and its features. You'll learn how to manipulate graphics, use effects, and retouch images, among many other things. Next, we have where to find clients. So as we discussed previously, leveraging online freelance service marketplaces like Fiverr and Upwork is definitely a great way to attract new clients. You're gonna to wanna to stay active on these platforms and do your best to keep a good seller rating. Now, in addition, your own personal network and social media are other hotspots for finding new business. Next, where to find website templates. Finding templates for your website is as simple as choosing a website building platform that offers a good selection of pre-built templates. There are often a number of free template options while others will have a one-time fee that allows for unlimited uses. The best places to look for templates include Theme Forest, Creative Market, U18, Mojo Marketplace, Template Monster, Elegant Themes, and Code Grape. Where can you find digital assets like photos, videos, and more? Great websites to visit include Pexels, Unsplash, Vectorstock, Envato Elements, and finally Canva. Building websites has become an incredibly lucrative way for people to make great money as a side hustle or even a full-time career. This video has gotten a little long, but this video has discussed everything you need to know about how to make money building websites. We started at sales strategies and income potential to useful tools, applications, online courses, and other great resources we really tried to cover it all. Do me a favor and let me know in the comments how you're using your website building schools, what has worked well, maybe even what hasn't. I really hope this video has provided some value to you. And if it did, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Money Made Simple videos, and I'll see you in the next video.